Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you four different ways you can remove people and objects from a background in Photoshop. You can download the project files for this tutorial to see the results of each method and have a photo to work from if you don't have one of your own. Let's get started. When you take photos in public places you always end up with at least one or two unwanted distractions in the background but luckily removing them is pretty easy no matter what tool you use. So the first method that I'm going to show you is with the spot healing brush tool. So I'm going to duplicate this layer and over here in the side toolbar you'll see the spot healing brush tool which you can also get to by pressing J. Now if you go to the toolbar up top the spot healing brush tool usually works best with the hardness set to 100% with the mode set to normal and with the content aware radio box checked. Now all you have to do is zoom in on your image and resize the brush to around the same size as the objects that you want to get rid of. Then you just paint over each item that you want to remove. And Photoshop will use its content aware engine to automatically replace the selection that you made with surrounding areas. Just like with any automatic tool, sometimes it doesn't work perfectly, but for an image like this it usually works just fine. I'm going to hide this layer and make another duplicate of our background. And the next tool we're going to look at is the patch tool. You can find the patch tool in the sidebar if you click and hold on the spot healing brush tool and you'll find it under that pop out menu. So again if I zoom in on our image, the patch tool will let me draw selection around the areas that I want to get rid of. And once my selection is made, I just click and drag from inside the selection and drag my selection to an area that I want to sample from. And when I release it, it'll automatically use the area that I sampled from to replace my original selection. The third method that I'm going to show you is the content aware fill tool. So I'm going to duplicate my background one more time and then pressing L I'm just going to use the regular old lasso tool and draw around this one person on the right. And once my selection's made I'm going to right click inside the selection and choose fill. And I'm going to make sure I have content aware selected and hit OK and Photoshop will automatically fill my selection using its content aware tool. So I can right click this one, hit fill, choose content aware, and I'm done. Now all of these automatic tools usually do a pretty good job, but sometimes they'll give you some funky artifacts, so the only way around it is to do it manually. And the best way to do it manually is with the clone stamp tool, which you can find in the sidebar or by pressing S. So I'm going to zoom in on my image and I'm going to take a sample of this area over here on the left by holding alt and clicking and then I'm going to go over to the right and start replacing the areas that I want to get rid of using the sampled area from the left. You'll probably end up resampling a few different areas to make sure you have the best replacement possible. So again I'm going to come over to the right and sample this area and use it to fill in this area over here to get rid of this person. And that's pretty much it. Each method will give you slightly different results, so you may have to try out a few different ones and find out which one works best for your image. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.